Now let's get to the fun part where we're going to combine sine waves. So this is pretty easy. Just play around with it and see what you can get. Let's type sine of x plus sine of 2x. Well, that's kind of interesting. We get a much more complicated pattern with big hills and little hills, but strangely, we still only have one value. Well, what happens if I take this to a 3? Well, if I take it to a 3, I get a repeating pattern of two big hills, two low hills, things like that. How about a 2 and a 3? 2 and a 3, that is also kind of fun. What if one of them has a different amplitude, so add a 5? Well, that's not all that interesting. Again, let's make this one 2. How about we go with some weird numbers and do like 7.111. That doesn't look like much either, but let's make this 2.222. That did nothing for me, so let's make this uh, negative 4. Oh, now we're getting to something that looks a little bit more interesting, a little more stretched out, but I think we can still do better than that. In fact, if we want to, we could add several of them together. What happens if I add sine of x plus sine of 1.5x together? And then I'll go ahead and add on to that plus sine of, let's say, 3.2x. Now, this one is clearly a little more complicated, so we might have to zoom out a little bit to see how it works. And we are getting some pretty complicated behavior here in that this part doesn't even match up with that. How far out do we actually have to go to see if this thing is how often it's going to repeat itself? Let's find out, shall we? Let's change those y's as well, negative three to three. No, ah, too aggressive, let's try that. Uh, that's actually terrible and worse. Let's get rid of that. Let's look at some examples I set up ahead of time. These are kind of interesting because here we have an amplitude of five in a period of 10, which is the red wave, looks very nice. The blue wave here looks a little busier because the amplitude is three, but the period is only a half. So here, an easy thing to do is title one of them F and the other one G, that way you can work on them separately. And then when you add them together, you can see what you get. And you get this nice complicated wave. You can see the green line is kind of following the red up and down, but you kind of get a wave within a wave, don't you? And if you wanted to, you could get a wave within a wave within a wave. What if I title something H is going to be equal to 10 sine of 360 over 50 X. And then I'll title this F plus G plus H. And we're kind of getting a wave within a wave within a wave here where it's kind of following the uh, red up and down. It's harder to see, but it definitely is going up where the red goes up, down where the red goes down. But overall, it's following the shape of this green one. And then inside of those, you have each of these as well. Um, sometimes you find interesting stuff just by playing around, seeing what you can get. Let's go here where I'm just gonna add sine of 360 over one X plus sine of 360 over two X. So period of one, a period of two, if I add those together, that didn't work, what happened? Oh yeah, uh, the home button allows me to reset to default view here. I get something that looks like this, which is kind of nice. What if I add another term? So 360 over one, over two, and over three together, I get something that sort of resembles the previous one, but it has a little bit more complexity there to, to it. So let's add yet another term, add a fourth. And I get something that's kind of stretched a little bit differently as well. What happens if I add a fifth term? We're getting a little um, on the intense side of things now, but you can see the center area is kind of getting bigger. And in fact, typing all these out is kind of a pain, so there's a mathematical way to um, just add up a series of things, and this isn't something you have to know, but it certainly makes life interesting. This is the sum, so we're adding things up, of sine of 360 over n, where we're saying n goes from one to i, where i is determined by this slider. So if i is set to one, this is just going to be just the first part of this term. If I set i to two, that would be this one, these two added together where n is one, and then we add that to n is two on that. And you can see it looks exactly the same as this one. Those two overlap exactly. If I set i to three, I'll get the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. And so let's just have fun with it. Let's see what happens when I let i go up very, very carefully it gets more distorted and the shape changes and look, it's going off the screen. Let's zoom out a bit to see what's happening. What kind of thing is happening here? Well, let's accentuate that even more. Ooh, doesn't that look fun? It looks so, uh, I don't know, so organic, like something you would find in the ocean, doesn't it? As those waves sort of crash out to both sides. But that's pretty much it. Part of the homework is just to play around with adding some sine waves to see if you can get something fun.